Now after this improvement of the visualization, let us now make some real algorithmic improvement. So as you noticed already, the algorithm is pretty slow. So what's the reason for this? So as you remember, we start from a node and then we expand all the nodes around it. So at some stage of the algorithm, we do have this set of visited nodes, which are connected to the outside by edges and all the nodes that can be reached directly from the set of visited nodes are contained in our front set. So in our implementation, our front was this list of elements starting with zero cost for s and so on. And at a certain stage in the algorithm, we already visited s, so this is not in front anymore and so on. And there's remaining elements. And so at a certain moment of the algorithm, all those elements are in front and they are in this set, which we actually implemented as a Python list. So now the first step in the while loop of the algorithm is to find the element in front with minimum cost. So how can we find the minimum element in this list of nodes? Well, essentially, since this list is completely unsorted, we will have to step through every element and check if this is the minimum. So say the number of elements in front is k, then looking for the minimum in the unsorted list comes at an algorithmic cost of O of k. We have to step through all current elements in front. Now this is bad because after we find the minimum element, we will process it. We will have a look at its neighbors. So the front will be extended locally. And so overall, the new front will be very much the same, except for the one deleted element and the few elements that have been added by the step. And so after processing one single node with only minor modifications to the entire list of front, we get back to the beginning of the loop and we again search through all elements for the minimum cost. Now this looks like quadratic cost. So we could improve as follows. Instead of searching through all elements, we could sort the list and pick the minimum element. So if this list is sorted, then the minimum element is just the first one. We can do this in O of 1. However, sorting it has a cost of O of k log k if we use a comparison of keys. And so sorting this list in each step is even more inefficient than just searching for the minimum. So another idea would be to keep the list sorted, which is trivial because in the beginning with the start node, there's only one node in the list, so it's trivially sorted. And later, say, if there are some elements in the list and we have to insert a new one, we will just check where it fits so that the entire sequence stays sorted. And this would be similar to insertion sort. So again, picking from the sorted list would be O of 1. But unfortunately, for each of those nodes which are new, the insertion into our list will also be O of k. And so this is actually an ideal situation for a data structure known as heap. And you know this probably from the heap sort algorithm, which uses a heap to sort elements. So without going into detail, a heap keeps its element in a binary tree where the root is the minimum element. So whenever I'm interested in the minimum element, I can get the minimum element in O of 1. However, then the heap lost its root and so it has to be repaired, which is possible in logarithmic time complexity. So picking the minimum element is O of log k. And with a second operation, when I want to insert a new element, then I typically put it to the end and swap it with its parent in the tree until it finds its correct place in the heap. And this is also of logarithmic time complexity. So overall, a heap allows us to do all those operations, finding the minimum and adding the new nodes to front in logarithmic time complexity. Now let's have a look how this influences our algorithm. So here is our algorithm as we programmed it earlier. And there's two places where we interact with our front in the main loop. First of all, here we get the node n with 
minimum cost. Now this is the place where we so far searched the entire list for the minimum note. And down here we add a neighbor to front and we just append it to the end of the list so far. Now the only modification we'll have to do is we'll have to replace this get note by searching the entire list by another operation, namely we have to pop the note with lowest cost from our heap, which is front, and down here we will not add the node to the end of the list, but we will insert it properly into our heap. So instead of adding, we have to push M onto our heap, which is of course front. So in these two operations will very much improve the performance of our algorithm. So where can we get this abstract data structure heap from? And as it turns out, in Python, there's a built-in heap queue, which can be easily used for that. And so the only modification we have to do to switch our implementation from a list-based inefficient solution to a heap-based efficient solution is to change two lines of code. So let's have a look at the code you'll have to implement. It's now PP01C and it imports two functions from heap queue, namely heap push and heap pop. And so down here in the main algorithm, there's only two changes to be made, namely replace your minimum search and remove by a single call to heap pop and replace your call to append by a call to heap push. And that is all there is to do. So now please implement this.